So the first Slumber Party Massacre directed by Amy Jones was, I don't know, it was kind of a, I really enjoyed the film. I, for a slasher film, it felt like it was missing something, but it's a very tongue-in-cheek slasher uh, where it just does not take itself serious whatsoever. And that's what I really enjoy about Slumber Party Massacre, at least the first one, because I've never seen two or three. Uh, and because they're so expensive, man. Like, and I can't find the DVD or Blu ray hardly anywhere unless I'm going to chunk out a bunch of money, which I don't want to for those. So hopefully they get a re release soon. Uh, but I have seen the first one and I have seen uh, the, the new one, which I'm not really going to talk about the first one much. I have waited a little bit to talk about this, but I wanted to, to wait until the new one came out and I watched it. I missed it when it first came out, but I recently watched it last night. But Slumber Party Massacre is one of those just cult horror movies that you just hear people talk about. They love it. It's fun. It's funny. And, you know, it's it's a movie you don't have to, it doesn't take itself serious and you don't have to take it, it serious at all. So I recently just watched the Sci-Fi Channel's Slumber Party Massacre. And this is basically a reboot. And it's so refreshing to see a film like this because I do like the requel sort of thing. Like, I, I enjoy Halloween. I enjoy Halloween Kills, and I'm excited for Halloween Ends. And I thought the new Scream movie was good, but I don't know. I'm not really, like, I miss the remakes. I, I miss the reboots, you know? Like, that's I feel like when all hope is lost for a, for a franchise, reboot it. I have no issues with rebooting. Like, I, I, I have more of an issue for a remake than a reboot because... Even the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2003, even though it is a remake, I would still consider it a reboot just because of the different direction that it took in the last half. Uh, but this was so refreshing because this is very much a reboot. This is very much a new take, a reimagining on the Slumber Party Massacre franchise, which, like I said, I don't have a problem with reboots because reboots don't interfere with what made the original Right? It doesn't interfere with the sequels. It doesn't interfere with anything like that. It's a reboot. It starts fresh. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, you don't have to. You're not missing out on continuity. You're not missing out on canon. You're not missing out on anything. And that's one thing that I love about this new Slumber Party Massacre film because anybody can hop in. Now, granted, if you are somebody like myself, which I don't care to admit this, I do have a hard time with cheesy films, especially if I know that the film is not supposed to be cheesy. I mean, that's just kind of how I am. And I do sort of diss films that are like that, and I shouldn't, uh, but I won't sit there and hound a film like that, and I won't not recommend a film like that, because I get it. You know, the filmmaker made a film, and I respect that. This is a very corny film. So for those of you guys that watch these big blockbuster horror films or these, you know, bigger films in general, when you watch this, you're probably going to laugh at it. And you're going to be like, oh, ha, 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 ha. Especially if you've never seen the first Slumber Party Massacre film. These films are not meant to be taken serious. Just like this film. This film is wacky. It's crazy. It's almost like watching a cartoon, but real life. Now, this is not a spoiler, but this was a very interesting direction for the film. And I really enjoyed it where... Uh, you know how when you watch a film and you see, you know, the, the lady, the woman get naked, you know, and the camera sort of pans up on her leg and shows her, you know, shows her naked and you're sitting there and you're like, yeah, well, that this film does that, but it does it with guys. And honestly, I'm not going to lie. I It's not a double standard to me, you know, like I don't care. It was very interesting to see that direction taken because there's literally like a scene where you watch these guys pillow fight and they have no shirts on and, and you watch, watch this dude take a shower and it like pans up on his, you know, like, yeah. I enjoyed that not because I wanted to see a man take a shower, but because it sort of put me in the position on how women feel watching slasher films. And that was awesome. Like it made me think outside of the box. Like I was literally sitting there looking at my wife. I was like, I like this because this is making me feel how you probably feel when we watch films like that. And she was like, yeah, went back to watching the film. So I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it a lot. Now, this actually does sort of take the more campy uh, route for a horror film because the original Slumber Party Massacre, it's like in this suburban neighborhood. This dude's going around with the drill. He's killing people. This one was in the woods, cabin in the woods. 
old house in the woods. And I enjoyed it, and it took a nice little twist halfway through. It was clever, it did something different, and I enjoyed it. And for that, I would 100% recommend this film. Uh, if you, if, Especially if you're already a fan of the franchise. Uh, applaud to the filmmakers. I, I, I applaud, what, who was the director for this? I'm not even going to sit here and lie that I know her name. Uh, Danishka Esterhazy? I don't know, that's, that's a hard name to pronounce. Bravo, seriously, bravo, 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 because it would have been so easy to just take this film and just make it a typical slasher, uh, just make it something that was just like the original, or to even try to make it a sequel to the original, or like one of those requels, you know what I mean? Um, applaud, like I applaud, applaud, I, I applaud you, so yeah. Had a great time with it. Uh, but anyway, guys, what did you think of Celebrity Party Massacre? Leave it down in the comments below. I actually thoroughly enjoyed the film, uh, and I'm glad I got to talk about it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, maybe subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.